Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video with your host Ken Kukin and today we got another Destiny 2 Trials Training video. A couple of things I want to point out real quick. Number one, this video is going to cover a lot of supers. Number two, I'm trying to speak more clearly and directly into the microphone. That way the volume is hopefully a little bit better. Now, whatever device you're on, usually my volume is usually good for everyone. Uh, it may be lower than other streams or other audio playing and I apologize for that. But I would ask you to, you know, just turn me up a little bit if you can. Um, if that's still like an, you know, if it's like an overly um, annoying problem, like, yo, you're 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 much more quieter than anything else I want to watch or listen to at the same time. You're trying to listen to two things at the same time. I I, I get it. I, I would at that point in time, I would tell you to mute one thing and unmute the other because when you're learning things, if you're like you're not. Um, <laughs> Uh, you're not Xavier, right? You're not Professor X. Like I can't imagine someone learning to the 100% maximum degree they could when they're listening to two separate things at the same time. But it was brought to my attention that my my quality was, you know, kind of a little bit quiet. So just a couple of ideas. Um, make sure you know check your device. It could be on a low setting. Usually headphone users have an easier time, but I understand if you don't want to use headphones all the time. I get it. So you know just. Once again, please check your head, uh, check your volume settings. Make sure it's decent for the for the videos. Uh, and then, if you have any more feedback on the volume, let me know at that point in time. The other um, the other thing I want to come out with is I'm going to talk a little bit fast. I'm going to try to go through these clips relatively fast, and because I, I got I, you know I got a lot going on this weekend. A, a, a world tournament's going on. I'm trying to participate in, and I'm missing out on time on that right now. Trials I got to start up soon. As soon as I hit the upload on this, like as soon as this finished upload, I need to be on trials, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, 4th of July, like right here, right now, today. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and dive in. A lot of these are going to be super clips, and then I have miscellaneous clips, and then I have uh, uh, collapsing, right? So supers and collapsing are going to be one part. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. Clip number one, super. I... Th no particular order are these supers here i just roll in with the super all right um notice how in in part one of the video this weekend i covered on how to come out this door now there's going to be plenty of clips where i'm invisible there are a couple of clips where i'm not on my night stalker invisible um invisibility gives me the advantage of you know being harder to see when i move around so with that being said i even though i'm harder to see I still come out that door like there's a sniper to the far left and I, I, actually there is a sniper to the far left my <laughs> my the sniper on my team pretty decent sniper sword peeking because I told him I said there's a sniper that goes far left every time and I left it up I left that job to him I didn't look back I never gave it another thought most of the time unless there was a certain play I wanted to make um I just left oh, I wasn't challenging the sniper I'm not sniping I'm a shotgunner so just give it up man like let your let your sniper do his job right so I go over here with the other guy, um, and I think he wants me to pinch with our supers. Like, I think he says, go right with your super, and I'll use mine left. And this is why the main reason this clip came up. And that's exactly what I do, man. I am rolling in with super. It's time to super collapse. Boom. That's super number one, right? I just, I start supering. I get the other guy that doesn't even notice me. Two things happen when I hit that guy behind. Um, one, I've gotten a kill on a guy that doesn't notice me, and he's not running away. He's hard, uh, easier to hit. Two, the tether now traps the titan, right? The titan's backing towards the tether that's already in place and is perfectly in the doorway. So there's no way that dude escapes. Uh, and now we collapse. The other guy did use his super. He ended up dying, but he traded right about... Wait for it. Wait for it. There. Yeah, he traded with, like, Bastion or something. Jotun. Yeah, th I'm chasing a Bastion, too, so... No surprise there. Let's go ahead and dive into the next clip. I have two long clips, uh, and I'll one of them I'll speed up. But it's those are important. Like this is you know those are the tough ones. I should have I should have got more clips where we were getting banged out. Now this is if I was taking a super up this lane, this is how I'm taking my super up this lane. Now granted, there are some teams that were really fast and they straight straight ahead of me, uh, at the back wall, enemies would show up and shoot like they would come out immediately like. I, I wish I would have got clips from that game because we got we got destroyed as far as movement went. Their speed was on point. They got out of play. You know, they came out of that spawn really, really fast. There was zero hesitation. They knew what they wanted to do. And we, I think we took one round, but it was a huge, huge struggle, right? 
That's what Mercy is for, teams that you have no chance against, right? Mercy is not there for teams that you have a chance against, but you make too many mistakes. That's not what Mercy is for. It's nice if you make the lighthouse after losing that Mercy there, but chances are you're going to come across a team that you didn't stand a chance at the moment because you you needed a, you know, you'd still needed more practice with your team. But here I go. I come in and I was looking for a super and you'll see another clip later. But I come in, this guy's frozen. I'm like, "All right, he uses he uses his super to freeze two dudes. One guy breaks out, the other guy breaks out slowly. I come in and it's risky, but I come in with the shotgun, get the shotgun kill, and it's immediately into my tether. Like there's zero hesitation, guys. Uh, I'm up we're up by four rounds, right? So I'm, I'm, I don't sit there and say, "Hey, man, I shouldn't double pop." Nah, man, it's, 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 it's time to duel, right? I came here to win, all right? I'm, Exodia's on the way, so here we go once again. Um, please tell me this is a super clip. Um, because I tried to group all the super clips together. This is, oh my gosh, this is not a super clip. This is not a super clip. Oh, this is. Okay, it comes to the end. I don't know why I didn't shorten it. So we start this game off. Um, We're looking for a pick. This is... We do... We actually get a pick on an enemy right there, right? So... <clears throat> hold on. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. Here we go. All right. All right. So I don't know where the enemy died at this round. I only know that that guy popped super... We have no super. It's 2-2. Two, two. I, I started to hear the revive, so it must have been in the building to my left. Right? My teammate, the sniper from earlier, is focusing on that dude to the left in the building. I, however, get the pleasure of focusing on this thing in front of me, this nice stasis warlock. Uh, I actually take him out pretty handily, easily right here, which is very lucky for me. Um, and this is one of the problems. When you pop your super in the open, guys, you are exposed and you are vulnerable to your super animation. And I was able to get two shotgun shots on him in melee. At that moment, my teammate got his super. Man, he ran away from this fight. I don't know what, what scared him off, but he he went towards heavy. Like, he was already around the corner in the main lane. And I'm like, yo, it's time to super. He's like, hold on. And I said, hold on, man. <laughs> they ain't holding on. Like, I'm fighting for my life here. <laughs> But, guys, <clears throat> when um, I've seen this scenario a lot of times. Let's say you have two people alive because one guy's dead, and then you have three enemies alive. As soon as you get pick number one, at that point in time, it's like you started the round fresh and two people spawned in on each team, right? You have dwindled the numbers down to an even playing field. If you have a super and they don't have a super just go with it like it's immediately time to go with it right like when before if 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 the round goes stale right and you guys are kind of playing a little more passive right no team is like being overly aggressive like let's say they don't take out your teammate and then get really aggressive with you you should be like in your head like it should come to a point where you're like oh okay as soon as we get a pick i need to go with my super right and go with it. Now, if it's the heat of the moment, everything's happening really fast, and a dude dies, like, you know, the faster you can react to the super, the better. That's why I called it out. As soon as I got the kills, like, all right, boom. And we killed a super. I'm like, it's time to go with your super. He's like, hold on. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, uh, they ain't holding on, man. They're aping me, you know. But it, it worked out in the end. We do, you know, we do get the pick. We do get the revive. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next clip. So, here we go. Remember that tether I showed you that I was running? I ran the arc stab. Now, I'm not invisible. I'm not hard to see. Everyone knows I'm coming. Everybody knows I'm on the way. And here we go. This is, you know, I got as close as I can. You know, I pop in the open. Very exposed. I'm also not the middle tree, so I can't block. So very dangerous. Where I made the same, and this was a judgment call on the enemy team. I'm like, all right, I could probably get around here before I die. If, that, if those were bastions, I might have popped around the corner before going in right if those were bastions you know, like anything like highly dangerous a bunch of fusions on the team i would have made sure i popped around the corner and then came around blocking heck on this super i probably still would have died because this tree i'm using does not block but i got as close as i possibly could and now boom i'm i'm like dodging around corners i'm not running in a straight line uh, i do dodge in a straight line once but he he tries to snipe me man if he would have hit the headshot i probably lose uh all right here we go again. Um, 
Here's another collapse with the super. My teammate goes to the right with their super. I go to the left. And I my other teammate with an arc staff needs to come left with me. <clears throat> this is this is where I called out where a lot of people like the challenge, right? By the time I got to this door, by the time I got to the door right here on the radar, there's someone there's actually someone on the staircase behind this AC unit. That's what I call the, you know, the AC unit this right there. There's someone there, right? By the time I, that, that's why I say it's very important to get out the spawn. There was a team that just destroyed us when we like we had to it was a fight just to get out the spawn and we got destroyed a lot of times and they split their team. Like we that's how slow we were. Like me included. Like I I got out first, but I got out by the time I got out, someone else was coming out behind me like the enemy. Um that's so I leave my teammate, he needs to go collapse. I'm going to my other teammate in case he dies. I'm like, "All right, you know, I want to be over here cuz I heard a oh, I heard an enemy super pop, so there was a chance that he died, and I, and I got through orbs, but, you know, match point didn't matter. So, again, collapsing with supers. Here's another one. I think I just roll in there, man. A uh, couple of chaos reaches. No problem. I'm out. And I just, there's no hesitation, right? I, I read my radar. Um for that second guy the third guy he just happened to be there i was tethering the doorway i wasn't necessarily tethering to shoot him he just was crouched waiting and i you know i got lucky on that last shot uh we ultimately lost to that team to we had two arc stabs that really couldn't do anything against the chaos reach one just got blasted away and didn't get supered at all oh there's that sniper i think or there's a guy over there and i just ignore him i, I let my sniper do his job i go somewhere else uh what's the, oh 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 we're collapsing here it is here it is here it is collapse i caught him on the radar and i'm waiting they're either gonna run away from your from the super chasing them or they're gonna stand and hold their ground they do both one guy you know gets scared and tries to run and here i am waiting for him oh he gets away okay well if i you know i, I was there waiting for him that's the point um hopefully you guys get it get the kill where i don't so I have to improvise now. Boom. Uh, but yeah, my teammate goes in there and he, he ends up dying. Uh, because they eventually got to a point where they held their ground. Probably with Bastions again. Alright, two more supers. Yeah, like I said, a lot of super clips. I think we're about to go into the uh, other clips here soon. The long, the two long clips I got of holding ground. Yep, there's another super. Pow. I, he misses a snipe. Now, I don't push head on. I come around. Um... The enemy already pushes out, though, with their super, so. I happened to catch this dude. He wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for the smoke. And then... Here we go. We're in a 1v1. Titan's behind a shield. He's not being very aggressive. I get my grenade. I use my grenade. There's not much to it. I throw the grenade behind the shield i could have placed it better but it's whatever and if it's going to force the enemy out of cover no matter which way if he goes to the left he cannot hide behind that you know tower if he goes to the right you know while well, he's open and then i dictate what he can do for that round all right so keep that in mind we do have some miscellaneous clips at the end we will cover as well um is this the long clip This is, yes, this, okay, here's the long clip. So this is where we hold our ground. We're down four rounds. Well, I don't know if we make a comeback or not. I don't remember. But we, but <clears throat> I believe we take this round. So here's us holding the ground. I came over to the, I came over to the left side. I didn't go from the normal way because I wasn't sure if they were going to come to the left and I wanted to be with my teammates in case we needed to run. They're holding their ground from the spawn. So, I'm looking at one direction. I can't really shoot whatever's shooting them. Like, there's a lot of cover. So, there's a lot of angles enemies can take that work. This is a highly aggressive team, too. So, I, um, I do... I did anticipate that Hunter coming from here. Right here. I shoot this guy once. My teammate died. As soon as my teammate died, I disengaged with the 1v1. And I went for the bodies. Now, you can't always make this play. It was, again, a judgment call. I'm like, I want to be on my teammates' bodies as soon as possible in case the opportunity to revive them presents itself, and it does. Now, now we sit here. We need to build super. We're, we're far, 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 far behind. And the enemy does get Thundercrash at the end. So we're going to show 
here I am. I start the, you know, I'm coming around. Uh, I s trade places with him. I can't get the kill. I don't want to go get the kill. I'm just going to sit here and get the zone. He comes all the way around the map. Guys, Thunder Crash. When it's a 1v3 or a 3v1 against Thunder Crash, if the Thunder Crash chooses you, Pikachu, you just need to stay on the ground and get killed, right? You need to make sure they hit the ground. Let them hit the ground. Don't let them run over you in the sky and then go run over your next teammate jumping around. Just, <laughs> you were chosen, Pikachu. It's time to die, all right? Just die, Pikachu. It's time to die. Super effective thunder crash, all right? So, <laughs> and die and stay on the zone. If you're the person on the zone, die on that zone. Even if he killed me with a shotgun, I... I I was very confident and I trusted my teammates to kill him for me. Now, we have two supers. We don't play the supers. We play passive. We've made a lot of effort to get here. Hey, oh, hey, there's that enemy I was talking about that came out. That's not the team that was super aggressive, but that was, you know, that dude always challenged with, with a sniper there, I believe. And it was called out by our teammates. And this is us. We're trying to hold the ground. We got one guy kind of holding the middle and he's in cover, you know, with the Titan shield and a piece of the... Um, and a piece of wall from the map. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to catch something somewhere without catching a bullet in my eyes. So I'm very cautious with the angles I choose, right? Like even there, right there, a sniper, I'm out of range for a sniper rifle, right? Like my hand cannon would have got outranged or would have had fall off damage. So like, I'm very hesitant. Like I'm very hesitant. There's a lot of three peaking going on on my team. Like, and, uh, uh, there's a lot of three peaking going on in the enemy team. You know, I'm just trying to, I'm watching the radar. We're calling out, we're paying attention. Like there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of us, there's a lot of us just kind of chilling. Like we're just kind of chilling, but let's go ahead and speed it up to right about boom. Like they're like, I'm very careful where I look. Right. And I chose these two long clips because yeah, like boom, I chose these two long clips because and let, let me touch up on that peak shot. I choose these two long clips instead of having like 50 million clips of me holding ground. I chose two long clips, right? So I can break it down. So right here, when I peek this person, right? I'm always assuming these two peaks. I'm assuming there's someone there every single time. Even I don't care that I shot the wall right there, right? Like, let, let me be honest. I, I could care less. The fact was I was... I was commit. My play was shoot the enemy once and just take cover, right? I'm hoping to get sniper bullets out of them without taking it to the body, especially the head. Um, and I'm just, I know that, <laughs> I know that if I shoot people in the head, snipers, there's a good chance they survive and shoot me in, the, or there's a good chance they don't get flinched off of me and just shoot me in the head anyway, right? So these two peaks I make, I'm peeking as if a sniper's there every single time, like, and I seen he was there, and I just shoot once and take cover, like. These peaks I'm peaking, I'm doing it with the assumption that the sniper is there. Whether I know the sniper's in the lane or not, the sniper is always there to me, right? That's how you treat snipers, people. That's how you treat snipers. All right, they're about to capture the zone. There's, you know, they gave up the ground. They backed up a little bit. Um, we do get a sentinel going. I have no idea what happens, but he gets just gunned down. And I just start, I let tether rip. I go to tether for the arc staff. The other guy kills the other guy, and then he does finish that guy off as he's capping the zone. And that guy never left the zone. He could care less that my tether was right there. Um, notice right here with my super one more time. I shoot to the side of him, guys. You cannot, sh you cannot shoot head on an arc staff block him. But anything on the ground, explosions that happen on the ground, fire knives. You know, you throw them on the ground next to them, they'll explode. They can't block that, right? Tethers to the side. We'll tether them. As soon as I shoot the first one there, I go for the other guy in the back because he's going to shoot me, and he does, right? And then my teammate's able to, you know, take him out. So, again, we're holding our ground right there. Um, and we have another clip to kind of touch up on that towards the end. Now, I think this is miscellaneous territory. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah. Guys, get out the spawn. Like, I wish I would have taken the clips where we got, like, ran by this team that right here I'm being shot at like by from the left side like there was a team that fast and they it wasn't like dawn blades and blinking warlocks it was a hunter with stompies man and some chaos reaches like I'm telling you get out the spawn like get out like get out 
you know, I jump right there, which is very dangerous because if they're sniping in the back, which this is a different team, if they're sniping in the back, they kill me. But it's very important to get out the spawn. All right, here we go. Miscellaneous sniper clip. Guys, <clears throat> what did I say about that snipe lane, man? Like, look, I even look out that door for a second. Right here. He's not in the doorway. He's back farther to the he's back farther to the left on my screen. So my sniper sees him. And my sniper takes him out. <laughs> that, boom. Job done. I'm moving forward. Now here's a clip where I talked about where you could collapse on someone. Hey, there's a guy to the far left by himself. There is a guy to the right as well. But I choose sorry, hiccup. I choose to run into the room and hopefully catch this dude before he groups up with his teammate. I'm going in with the notion, yep, and, you know, I do catch him hesitating. I go in with the uh, notion that uh, I'm going to catch him in the open, right, before his teammate can group up. And, you know, that kind of works out. All right. <clears throat> Enemy bullet count. Guys, it is round one. No other rounds have happened this game. Everyone spawns up with how many special bullets if they're using special weapons? Two. Two, 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 two. Somebody said that he shot a bullet at them already, right? Cuz um And then like this is a sniper we're about to challenge. He shot He oh there it is, there it is, there it is. He shot at Admiral. He shot his first sniper bullet at Admiral and then at me. That's two bullets. And then after that, someone called out sniper. I'm like he's out of sniper bullets. Because all the enemies died by us. All of the teammates died by us. So all the green ammo is by us. If you guys, every time you win a round especially, you can keep track of the ammo count of the enemies. If you don't kill an enemy by an enemy, if you don't kill them from a distance, right? Then the enemy can't really get, then the enemy can't really get the ammo that dropped. Um, okay. Uh, 21 minutes. We're, we're wrapping this up for 22 minutes on the video. We're wrapping this up right here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a good, this is a good clip of holding angles. This guy gets plenty of revives. We get team shots here. This is the revive that matters though. Like check this out. <sighs> Notice that Rex man on our team is chilling right here in the body. Guys, uh, I gotta make, I gotta stress this. Canadian is in a good spot, right? Canadian's in a good spot. Like from the angle he's at, um, come on, come on. Like, let me spectate. All right. From the angle Canadian's at, if it shows it, here it is. He can see that body, right? And he can see that, that wall right in front of him, the divider. Nothing hugging the divider can get a revive there, right? But if someone were to get on that body and go to the left of the screen and hug the heavy wall like that dip, they could pick it up if Canadian doesn't move forward. The opposite is true for Rexman, right? Now, for whatever reason, Canadian had to back off that angle after he got shot, and he didn't challenge the second dude. Rexman can't see this. He can see the guy getting picked up, but he can't see the guy picking up. He pulls out. He, I think he pulls out his sniper, and then his sni yeah, he, his sniper doesn't shoot. He has to reload. I'm not sure what happens because he, you know, he just bodied the other dude that got picked up. Guys, it's important. Like, don't rely on your special ammo. And that was a tough scenario, but it was a 2v1. Like, get them primaries out and start, like, start making a play. He does have chaos reach the whole time. But if you can't see the bodies that are being, if you can't see the people picking up the bodies, right? It's a very dangerous precedent. All right, we're going to wrap this up with this last clip. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Um, What goes on down here? I'm trying to remember do 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 what is this clip for? oh 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 here we go here we go i start to shoot this dude it's like a 2v1 right now one two guys team shots are important right relying on your teammates like call out i call him out yo he's absolute he's one shot and i'm one shot i just back off i stop engaging i don't look for that third kill when you start taking bullets like Kind of gauge how fast you're going to die and be ready to disengage from the enemy and let your teammate engage with them instead. Okay? Like, that's called, you know, that's called swapping out. And there's a lot of teams that will swap out with their teammates from the same angle, too. Like, they, they'll swap out from the same angle 
So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. This is part two. Again, a lot of super clips. Um, we did get, you know, some standing off clips. I wish I would have got the clips where we got decimated. Uh, but there, there was... I, I can never have enough super clips, man. Like, I, I wish I had more super clips, like different supers, right? And I plan on playing some of that stuff today. So come on down by the Twitch stream. Link in the description below because uh, I will be live. And I will be rocking probably some Titan and definitely some Warlock today. So come on through. Watch the super clips. Hope this video helps. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy 4th for those that are celebrating it for everyone else. I hope you enjoy your Sunday and have a wonderful day. Uh, comments below. Let me know what you let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts, again, you got any clips, you can always reach out to me. We can find some way to DM them to me, and we can put your clips in the videos. And hey, Kankukin, you know this is a clip I thought would be cool to look at. You know, dissect um the great play, bad play. You know what type of play could I have made here in this scenario, so on and so forth. Uh, and that's all I got. Leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and good luck, Guardians. I'll see you at the Lighthouse.